and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today! You may be thinking, Juno, your head looks very small today. That is because I am going to be giving you all a wig wardrobe tour. Yes, that's happening! Oh my god, why did I just do that? I hate that. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's me. It's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. And a welcome to the Juno Show. Yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, I am back. And my head is very small and very tiny. Yes, that's happening. Because I'm going to be showing you all of the wigs that I own. And we're going to be trying them all on. Because I have so many. They're all a big bundle of mess. Some of them are. Some of them are very precious. And very um, pristine on a mannequin head. Okay, everybody. So, are we ready to be snatched bald? Ah! Ah, I feel so exposed. Yes, I know. Oh. <laughs> so, we need to start trying on the wig. I know, it's so weird. I have such a small head. <laughs> right, oh, right, we have, <laughs> we have so many wigs, people. Oh my God, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> so I've got so many unstyled wigs or wigs that have already been styled and then I've shoved them in a drawer. Um, but we have, this one's not styled. Excuse me, the lace isn't even cut on this one. Oh my goodness gracious me. So this, oh, have we got a brush? Right. It needs a brush. This is a nice long one that hasn't been styled yet. I like, I like heights, as you can see. I've got a tiny little head and I like to add on some height. Let's have a look at this one. I think this is a, I think this is a Webster's. This is a Webster's, a Webster's, Webster's.com. Yes, it's happening. Let's have a try on. See people, this is why. See, it doesn't suit me. <laughs> and also you have all this flyaway. <laughs> I don't know how these girls do it with their human hair we weaves. <laughs> oh, look. <sighs> oh my god, I've just I've just grown. I've just got younger ten more years. <laughs> I feel like it's that scene in White Chicks where you get all the hair, where she gets all the hair in her face. Oh, <laughs> No, that is not the wig that I'm going to be wearing. Um, have we got any more in here? I don't want to put that ratty ass wig. No. She needs restyling. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> yes, it is true. I don't look after my wigs because I'm a lazy bitch. This is what you call not enough shampoo. So this wig has been washed, but it's... <gasps> that needs to go in the bin. No. All right, okay. Oh, we've got a gorgeous one here, everybody. So this is my... Speak to the manager wig, but she's got height, everybody. Gorgeous heights. So we're gonna try her on first. Yes, this is the, this is going to be the first nice one. I think I zip tied too many too many wigs to this one, so it's it's a little dishevelled. I think. Oh my god! Now see this wig, everybody. This is this is Janice. This is one of those wigs. These are two cheap Amazon wigs. And I zip tied them both together with some donuts in the middle. So um, this is what I call Janice, and she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and sometimes I wear her if I'm doing a Liza number. We want to feel some Liza Minnelli way. And she's one of those wigs where that you can just brush and style into a different style. And I absolutely love her so much. I met, I styled her myself. Yes, what's happening? Gorgeous. So this is more of a Liza Minnelli style with the brushing. And then also, if you just get some hairspray, now she's more of a speak to the manager. How gorgeous is she? Next. Now this next wig, everybody, this is Penelope. Penelope is an absolute queen and she's gorgeous. Now I like to wear this wig when I'm going to events where I'm not too glamorous and a bit more like in a skirt suit or um, I've got a briefcase or something like that. That's the moment this wig is for. Oh God, so there she is. Oh my God, look at her. Now I styled this one myself from scratch. Yes, I did. Wigs that usually need cages, I usually get them specially made, but this wig, this cage I actually made myself. Yes, with wire and um, little um, 
I bought a pair of tights over loads of wires. Penelope is an absolute queen. Look how smooth she is. I did such a good job on this one. Next. Um, I call this wig Liza Marie Presley. Um, because she's absolutely gorgeous. She's inspired by Mars Attacks, of course. Um, let's, let's pop her on. Right, ready. Excuse me. Oh my god, look at that, everybody. Oh, she's one of those wigs that you can pack in a suitcase, pull out, and she's absolutely still the same. Now, this wig is by Venus Envy again. Absolute icon. Look how gorgeous that is. Now, some of you might be thinking, Trixie Mattel. But really, this is inspired by Mars Attack, but I wanted one that moves when I'm performing. Stunning and gorgeous. I wear this one quite a lot, actually. Ugh. Next! Right, next everybody is Curly Whirly Sue. She's an absolute icon. Now, you might, if you've seen me do a brunch show, then you might have seen me in Curly Whirly Sue. She's absolutely gorgeous, yes. And she's one of those wigs that um, I love performing in. <laughs> this is, this is Shirley Bassey. This gives me Shirley Bassey, you know, and when you perform, you shake the head and it's just, it's just so gorgeous. And it's one of those ones that's good to travel with as well. Now, sometimes I wear Curly Whirly Sue like this, or sometimes I will wrap a headscarf around her. Because my hair's so big, I usually like really big headscarves. And then I, what I'll do is take these pieces and tie them around my neck at the back. Stunning! Next! <laughs> This next wig, everybody, is by Florencia. Florencia is a very well-known wig stylist and she's absolutely gorgeous. And this is Miss Francesca. Miss Francesca goes everywhere with me, honestly. She's another performer's wig. Now, I always go for the same colour blonde. It's a 613 is always my favourite kind of blonde. She's one of my gorgeous favourites. Very Mars Attacks as well. Right, next! Oh, it's proper on there. Now, also, Florencia made a wig for Cyril. <laughs> it was like a surprise gift ages ago. My cat Cyril, she made a wig for him. Now he will not keep it on. I mean, he's not one of those cats that will keep jumpers or wigs on or hats or anything. But I just wanna show you because it's so gorgeously styled. It's got its own little wig cage. <laughs> I think we should wear this. This is also um, my... <laughs> Actually, I could probably put this on top of another wig as a little topper piece. Next, everybody, is a bus driver Gretchen. She has arrived. Now, as I was saying before, I like to wear 613, but this is not a 613. This is white, white. And I styled this myself ages ago. I can't remember what I used it for. You're all gonna scream at this. Or well, sometimes I'll use this on top of another wig, but like, as you can see, I need height. Otherwise, I look too weird. But this is my little Liza wig. <laughs> I can't go with it. Just got no height to my head whatsoever. This is bus driver Gretchen. She's not, I'm not feeling her. No, she's, she needs to be reused for something else. This next wig, everybody, is called Thursday. She's absolutely stunning and absolutely gorgeous. Now, you will have seen her, see me wear this wig a lot as well. And, and this I wear a lot with my hot dog costumes. And she's one of my travel wigs as well. She's a travel wig, yes, because she's not a lace front. She's not a lace front, so she's, um... <sighs> 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 Oh my God, she needs a brush, people. Oh my goodness gracious me. I love a tiny little bang. What has happened to my gorgeous and stunning Thursday? Oh, there we go, right, there we go. She's, she's, she's coming together now that she's had a brush. But this is Thursday, everybody. And I wear her so much because she's my little, she's my little party wig. Um, and I just love the flick out at the sides. I've always, ever since I started doing drag, I've been obsessed with a flip. And now it's a very big trend in drag and I would like to see myself as a little bit of a trendsetter. Yes, it's happening. Well, that's Thursday, everybody. Yes, it's happening. Next. Now this next wig, everybody, is one of my favorite new wigs. She's very new and she's very fresh and she's absolutely humongous. By Venus Envy, absolutely amazing wig stylist. Um, and oh my God, I just absolutely love it. It's got a giant cage inside. I'm just gonna spray a bit of hairspray in the middle here so that she stays on. <laughs> 
Look at the size of this absolute queen. Oh my goodness gracious me. I mean, look at that. Look at the look at the detail in the roots and everything. Now this is a really new wig, so she hasn't got a name yet. But you if you have any um, suggestions for the names, leave a comment underneath and I will pick a name based on your comments. Yes, that's happening. I feel like she's a bit of a Shirley or a bit of a, a dame or, a, you know, she's something around those, those vibes. Yes. Right, next! Maybe if I just flop forward. Ah! <laughs> this is Sandra. Now, she's a cooking queen. She loves to cook. Yes, it's happening. Now this was, this was an old wig that I got styled, but I restyled it recently. It's a bit of a mess because she's been thrown about and everything. She's a classic Juno flip, but she's got a bit more volume at the sides. And she loves cooking. This is Sandra, everybody. Sandra has arrived. I guess it's happening. How stunning is she? She's a groovy queen and she loves to groove, yes. <sighs> and on third day, go great Rimton Bitch and Rattle. Right, next! Now this next wig, everybody, you're gonna absolutely piss. It's, it, well, it, uh, well, basically, let me put it on and, and tell you. Why is the wig cap so small? Phil! <laughs> oh my god, right, okay. This next wig, everybody. <laughs> She's called Mona, because basically I bought this wig because I was going to do a Mona Lisa makeup tutorial. And then I realised I don't even need to do any makeup because I already look like Mona Lisa without any makeup on. So I ended up not using it. <laughs> I feel like Mona needs to go out for some drinks. This is Mona, everybody. <laughs> How do you girls do it? Oh my goodness gracious, me. I'm quite feeling a fantasy. <laughs> I think I need a beret. Hello. Hello. All right, we're gonna add a hat to it. This is Alini. Alini does gorgeous berets that are like food. She sent me like a bunch of them ages ago and they're absolutely lovely, I love them. Right, okay, so Mona's gonna do like a little bit of a... Oh my God, this is a completely different vibe. Maybe I'm Mona from now on. Maybe I'm not even Juno anymore. Oh my God, right, next! Next, everybody. She's not a wig, but she is a gorgeous and stunning space helmet made by Paulette Cherry. She's such a good, amazing um, head peacemaker and she made... Um, Black Pepper's gorgeous chocolate headpiece on Drag Race Season 4. It's absolutely stunning. She's done loads of stuff. Um, anyway, right, we're going to put this on. Oh my god. Oh my god, now my hair's all entangled in the shit. <laughs> it's stuck! Oh! This next wig, everybody, isn't really a wig, it's a headpiece. Yes! Absolutely gorgeous and stunning. Space helmet. Now Paulette Cherry is so creative. Like these are from the back of like water guns and they get screwed in here somewhere. Let me find the holes. Let me see. I wore this on one of my very old YouTube videos. There, right, okay. So they screw in like little um bottle tops. Isn't that fabulous. Da da da. As a one. Look at that! So cool. Where's this one going? There she is. I've got her. I've got her. Right, get her in. I'm really scared to take this off, you know, because I feel like I've just balded myself. That, everybody, is most of my wigs in my wardrobe. I hope you enjoy this little tour of my wig wardrobe. Um, and maybe I should do a shoe to, 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 tour. A shoe tour. That would be gorgeous. Anyway. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Goodbye!